Hello, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to connect up your PlayStation 4 controller to your Mac to play it on the Ryu Jinx emulator which is a Nintendo Switch emulator. It's really simple, you have one or two options. You can either, let me minimize this, you can either use a micro USB cable and plug it in, the light will come on like so and you're all good to go and you can skip to the part where I actually configure this in Ryu drinks or you can connect it via Bluetooth which is the preferred method just because it's wireless and you don't have any you know cables you know tying you down so you go to your settings system preferences and let me close this sorry yeah you go system preferences you go to Bluetooth and you need to put this into pairing mode to do that you press the PlayStation button and the share button at the same time for a few seconds and then the light will start flashing Okay, like so. DualShock 4 wireless controller appears. Ooh, ah. press the on the wrong device. Nope. Click connect. And the light will go solid. I'm going to remove WebOS TV. Yep, there we go. It has now connected. So we're all good to go. Now, and yet this works, FYI, if you're wondering, it works with the older PlayStation 4 controllers that didn't have the light come through the touch bar. It works fine for those controllers as well. The PS4 controllers, they all have Bluetooth built in, unlike the Xbox controllers for the Xbox One. Some did, some didn't, so that, that was a bit of hassle. So just launch up Ryu Jinx. Obviously, if you have not set it up, I will provide a link in the description to set it up on Mac. So now go to Options, Settings. Go to input and now here you just click the drop down click ps4 controller if it doesn't appear just refresh and select it controller type select joy compare just because that will get you the best compatibility and now you can configure it to do that let's say if i wanted to have the x button mapped to a or like x i guess you press it press x now it's mapped to a or like you know like you can think of it like the xbox configuration and I'm going to configure this basically the same, except for I want to flip these. And everything else, obviously, feel free to click and, you know, enable whatever you want to enable. The sticks are all done. The D-pads are done. Nothing you need to do. You can just leave it as is, which is fantastic. And now you can, you know, create a new profile, name it, and press save benefit of that is you can have different controller configurations for different games different genres different players which is really really useful and you can do for different players as well like player one two three four not just physical players or like different people but players within the game and that's it once you've done that just make sure you know you do save because if you can't see it like uh, as you couldn't before just double click on this and it will go to the full screen relative to what your window size is Whoop, click save and that's it i'm gonna confirm that he has saved it and the way i'll know because these will be flipped and we're all good to go now if i launch on my game which in this case is new super mario bros u as a little fact uh, or a little trivia or I guess not trivia little cool thing the cemu emulator video that i've been doing as well when I'll be connecting controller and setting that up, I'll be using this game as well. As always, check compatibility in the game that you are testing on. And so as you can see, I can move left, right, up, down. Uh, let me go to, ch I'll just open up a challenge. You know what? I'm going to play as Toad this time. Mix it up a bit. Let's try a different one. Use the triple jump to collect coins and reach the goal. As you can see, I can move left, right. Oh, did terrible. Okay, so I'm going to leave it at that. So that's how you connect up your PS4 controller to your Ryu Jinx emulator on your Mac. If you have any questions, 
feel free to post them in the discord group there's a link in the description or just post them in the comments if you like the video give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button and i'll see you soon bye bye